This morning, Queen Mary made a remarkable appearance in Copenhagen's Northwest Quarter for the Mary Foundation's AF Darwike event. This initiative focuses on a crucial topic, the transition young people face as they move from primary school to secondary education. But what does this mean for the future of Denmark's youth? Stick around as we uncover the inspiring details of this event and how it aims to empower the next generation. And before we dive deeper, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest royal updates and heartwarming stories. As Queen Mary took to the stage, the atmosphere was filled with excitement and anticipation. The IFDARYK event showcased innovative concrete imprints designed to represent the foundation's commitment to enhancing well-being for students during this pivotal transition. But why is this particular stage in education so important? Research shows that this period can be filled with challenges and providing support can make all the difference. How does Queen Mary's involvement influence public perception of these issues? During her speech, Queen Mary emphasized the importance of creating a supportive environment for young people. She spoke passionately about the need for tools and resources that can help students navigate this significant change. But what specific strategies can be put in place to ensure that every child feels prepared and confident? Queen Mary's presence at this event not only brings attention to these challenges, but also inspires action and collaboration among educators, parents, and communities. The concrete imprints presented at the event symbolize much more than just physical objects. They represent the Foundation's vision for a better future. Each imprint is a reminder of the lasting impact that support and guidance can have on a young person's journey. As viewers, we must ask ourselves, how can we contribute to this positive change in our own communities? In addition to the inspiring presentations, attendees were treated to engaging discussions and workshops aimed at fostering collaboration between schools and families. Queen Mary's commitment to these issues reflects her dedication to improving the lives of young people across Denmark. What initiatives might she champion next, and how will they further enhance educational opportunities? As the event wrapped up, it was clear that Queen Mary's efforts are making waves in the realm of youth education. Her active participation in the AF Darwike event serves as a powerful reminder of the royal family's role in advocating for social issues. How will her influence shape the future of education in Denmark? Stay tuned as we continue to follow Queen Mary's initiatives and the positive changes they bring. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on royal events and inspiring stories that make a difference in our world.